thanks for stopping by for a good old fashioned haul video. I have stuff here from five different thrift stores. Five, five. Um, I can't say I scored at any of them, but together it makes a decent haul. Um, I'm definitely due for a super haul. Hoping to have at least one, if not two, by sometime in December. But anyway, I'm just gonna jump right in. It's not separated by store. I'm gonna start with footwear. This is, okay. I definitely went, paid up a little more for stuff in this haul than I normally do because my death pile is pretty much on life support and I'm just, my schedule is just crazy and I can't get to anywhere where I'm gonna guarantee like low. But anyway, um, I bought these. These are made well. Definitely paid more than I normally pay, but I don't usually find made well, so I was curious to try them. I did check comps, and they can be quite good. Uh, this is called a kickoff trainer, I think. It's got calf hair. It's got a nice platform. This one is a size nine and a half women's or eight men, which is weird that it says that, but it does. Um, with the right socks, I could wear these, but I won't. So I already have these listed. Some, A few of these things I already have listed. Here's another thing that I have listed. These are Sorrel's. They're a nice, you know, lace-up boot. It's called, I think, the Kate, C-A-T-E. And this is a size seven, phew, too small for me. In excellent condition. I have these listed, I think, at 100. Obviously, I'm not expecting to sell them at 100. I'd like to sell them for at least 75. But we'll see what happens. They've gotten a lot of interest, but no, no offers, not even a low offer. Um, what else here in a shoe bag? I don't have a lot of shoes, which is, you know, always something I want to have a lot of, but what are you gonna do? Um, I'm trying to pull them out together. Okay, these are just a total comfort pump that somebody will need. They're aerosols, aerosols, heel rest, just a, a, a leather, very traditional pump. Super not on trend, but a style that there are always people that are going to need. And they're pretty comfortable too. I tried them on, I would wear them. They're just a really nice soft leather. And I can't really wear, wear heels, but if I had to wear a pump somewhere, I could probably manage these. And these are a size eight and a half. So they probably would fit me. But I don't need them. These are Splendid. I did not know this brand, but I liked this shoe. I looked it up and Splendid can get some Splendid prices. Um, it's suede has this nice sort of chunky heel. Look at the detail there. This one is a size eight. Pretty clean, huh? I don't have that listed yet. All right, these are, what size are these? These are a size 10. They are Earth Spirit. I keep buying Earth Spirit because I think I like their stuff and they seem like a good comfort shoe, though as of yet I have to, you know, I haven't sold any. Um, just excellent condition, nice leather. Wanted to give them the try for the right price. I didn't pay up for any, for, for these. I did for the Sorrells. Uh, and this is Nurture. This is the second pair of sandals I've gotten from Nurture. Um, and uh, I didn't look up comps on these because I figured I looked them up when I bought the last ones and they, you know, they did okay. So I just like the style. They're like a thong there with this heel in, you know, very clean condition, size eight. So the sizes are pretty decent, nothing too tiny. All right, I think that is actually it for shoes, sadly. This is, the brand is Southern Lady, and this is vintage. I've definitely got my eye open for, for vintage because I wanna keep listing. I wanna try to list on Shop Thrilling, you know, pretty consistently. Not like five a day, but 
you know, at least a few times a week. These are, this is a 1X paper tag made in USA. Winter theme. Snowflakes. I've lately been picking things up and then when I get them home, I notice they've like taken them in in a way that I want to say is odd, but it's a way that I would have done. Like they must have had an issue with the armholes because they had just sewn it up here. But I stitch ripped it and it's perfect. Can't tell because it's a sweater, so it was very easy to do. But that is something I would do um, or would have done in the past for things of my own. Like I have a dress that I didn't realize they had done that with and I started to stitch rip it and I don't know if it's ever going to be finished because it's taking forever and probably not worth my time. Uh, another vintage, definitely in the, ooh, I'd like to keep this one pile. Tyrolia, which is, I remember Tyrolia for bindings, ski bindings, but this is a ski jacket. Can you see it? Look how cute that is. It even had, it has a belt and the belt was in the zippered pocket. Like I didn't realize it came with a belt and then I checked the pockets because I do that and there was a belt. I'm like, woo. So there's a zip in hood here. Let me, the light again behind me is not right. Um, and the belt buckle's kind of cool. It reminds me of a seat belt on a plane. So you just, you just snap it in. And then it took me, I won't lie, it took me a good three or four minutes to figure out how to open it. You just press on this. Isn't that cute? Uh, there is not a size. Well, there was a size, but I really can't read it. I thought I could see maybe a 12, but I don't know whether that was the size. Actually, you know what? It's not a 12. It's an S-I-Z, so... Well, I don't know. I think it fit me. I tried it on real quick. I'll go by measurements and then list it as like medium or something like that. That's less specific than, you know, two or four, something like that. Um, and I will mention that there's no size and I gotta go by measurements. Again, vintage, Janssen, made in USA. Okay, so it has this tag, like I wondered, sort of like on costumes or things where you put people's names on it. And I thought I'd peel it off, but it is just on there. Like, I can't peel it off. It occurred to me that maybe I could blast it with a blow dryer, but I decided to just leave it. I don't know what the story is with that. There's no fabric tag, but it feels very acrylic. That's what I said. Kind of a fisherman's knit, a little bit of a Fair Isle pattern to it. Don't know if it's men's or women's. So this is already listed and I listed it in both men's and women's. I've been doing that a lot lately with things that are either not clear whether they're men's or women's or even like I had the ski suit that I had in the men's section and then I thought, well, there's no reason why a woman wouldn't wear this and it seems even like more likely that a woman would wear it. So I decided to list it there as well. This is... Um, I need help with this, so if you can, if you look at this and have any idea of, like, descriptive words for it, help me. Chico's Travelers, size 2. Uh, I like the Chico's Travelers. I love how you can just, like, go like that and, and it doesn't wrinkle. Um, and I, I wouldn't normally just pick up something, Chico's, or without a, a very good reason. I just thought this was really pretty. Especially when it's more than a dollar. So it's got this, like... What is that fabric called? It's not, or is it chiffon? I always struggle. So please, if you know what one would call this type of fabric, let me know. Um, so it's got that like ruffle around the neckline. That's a zebra print. And then it's also got it on the cuffs. Isn't that cute? I thought that was special. Special. Um... Another vintage item, yay. This is Night Flowers in New York. In the condition, you would never guess it's vintage, but this is faded. It does say made in USA, does it? I'm trying to remember. I can't read with my glasses, even though they're bifocals. Yeah, made in USA, 65% polyester, 
35% cotton. Anyway, I've been thinking it would be nice to uh, carry some like nightgowns and this is probably plainer and less vintagey than I hoped, but it honestly looks brand new. It's this pretty pattern. Um, what is that kind of sleeve called? Like almost a, I don't know. What was that sleeve called? Where it's sort of gathered butterfly? I don't know. Anyway, just thought it was super cute. Nice lacing. Amazing condition. Amazing. All right. Uh, this is a little kid's... Okay, I sold a kid's item yesterday and... No, two kid's items yesterday, which I feel like gives me permission to shop kids again, um, but just a very little bit. This is a Patagonia, size extra small, 5'6". It's called uh, Retro Pile Jacket. Even the kid's ones, the comps were, were pretty high, Um I know it's Patagonia, but that doesn't mean, especially in kids, that it would go high, but they were high. So it's in great condition. There were a few, you know, little spots that I had to had to wash, I had to wash it, and so now it's nice and unspotted and gave it a little bit of a, a sweater shave. And I did suggest that it's still a little bit pilly, but it's not really. I mean, that's that's what it is, you know? It's like just a giant pilly on purpose. Purposeful pilling, pillaging. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I have that listed. I don't think I listed it really high. Okay, this is... All right, so to me, a skirt. Well, a skirt is a skirt with shorts. But I used to like the skirts that, like, looked like shorts from behind, but it had a panel in the front, so it looked like a skirt in the front. Um, but this is actually a skirt with shorts underneath and it is Eddie Bauer and size six looks much bigger to me this looks like this is looks big for it a uh, six I don't know I'll try it on but I liked it I love skorts it's that nice sort of dry fitty type of fabric that'll go into the list it later um, okay, this, these are listed. These are, oh, I had it all folded up like that video of the guy folding things amazingly. So I've learned how to fold the pants the way he does, but nothing else. This is Body Glove, Glove Snow Technology. Protect the core, size large ski pants, uh, snowboard pants, play in the snow pants. Russell while you walk pants. In Seriously, amazing condition. Okay, if these were worn, it would show something on the bottom, and it doesn't. I don't list them as never worn. I don't even say they look like they never worn. They were never worn, but these don't look like they were ever worn. I think I listed these as very gently worn. Under promise, over deliver. Um, I get I get feedback a lot of times on that. Like, oh, this was even in better, you know, better than than I thought, or better than the pictures, or. You know, amazing condition. Okay, this. I don't know what's going to happen with this. I have not yet tried it on. I'm planning to try it on, and I can't guarantee I'm ever going to list this. Now, that's there's a lot of things I'd like to keep, like that Tyrolia jacket. But this is one I might keep. It's Ralph Lauren Sport. I don't care about that. But it's a flannel plaid shirt with a ruffle Shirley Partridge front. Isn't that cute? I love this. I love this. I'm trying this on. And it has that feeling, you know, that where the flannel is not stiff, but it feels like it's never been worn because eventually it starts, you know, getting softer. And this, ugh, so cute. But it's, it's a size six and it actually looks small. This one looks small to me. So I don't know. I don't really have any concept of what size I am anymore or ever did. Um, okay, that's everything on this side of the room. Oh, moving on. How long has it been? Almost 15 minutes, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. This is, I bought this because I don't know this brand at all. It's 
Steve and Barry's University Sportswear. But it's very academia, short, uh, pleated, plaid, and it's flannel. Like the outer la level layer is flannel and like a so it's a nylon -y inside. So I just thought that was really cute. It's a size 16. I didn't look up the brand. I just decided I wanted to try it. Uh, obviously it's going to need some pressing. Pressing. This is, I was surprised when I looked up this brand. It's called Crystal Doll. And I thought, well, that's not even gonna really show up. And actually there was quite a few Crystal Doll things and they were, you know, they were reasonably priced and sold for a reasonable amount. And it's such a pretty dress that I chose to purchase it. So it's sparkly, but it's not beaded. Um, cause I, I am wary of beaded things because no matter how much you look, you go home, you find missing ones or, or it's missing by the time it gets there. You know, you can't clean it. Uh, cause there was actually a beaded dress in my cart today. Well, it was beaded just at the top and at the last minute I threw it back. There's something I left that I regretted. It was a pair, oh, a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch, like wide leg jeans that were vintage. And it just, they were distressed and they were missing the two buttons, which you don't even need, but I could have replaced. Um, but jeans, I'm, I'm, I'm so not confident about jeans. I threw them back and then I was in the car like, ugh, I should have gotten them. They were a dollar. I should have gotten them. They were vintage. I could put them in, uh, I could put them in a little, little, little shop thrilling. But anyway, they're gone from my life. This I don't know. I should have done some research on this and I didn't. It's DSCP, uh, the quarterback collection, quarter deck collection. I actually have a coat. So they make uh, military wear and uh, the coat's really nice. And this is like that military beige and it is Navy ROTC. I decided to try it. This tag has seen better days, which suggests that it's been worn to death, but you wouldn't know it to look at it. It looks new. I'm sure that it is a very synthetic fabric. There is no way for me to know what the fabric is because it was probably on this, which is, no, it wasn't. But this tag is crisp and, and new like, but this tag has seen better days. And, oh, it's a small though. At least I can tell it's a small, so that's good. Receipt. Uh, okay, this is, I don't know if this was a good choice or not, but I had to have it. It is a sleeveless, it's Hilo Hattie. Because I remember when I went to Hawaii, all those Hilo Hatties. Um, it's just such a fun print, sleeveless, button up. I did look up comps for Hilo Hattie and, and they're, they have Hilo Hattie on Poshmark and they weren't like listed at $5. So I was like, I really like this. I I'm going to try it. I'm guessing this is a yard sale tag. Oh, this is a dollar because I'm pretty sure Hilo Hattie didn't sell it for a dollar. Anyway, spring box. This, I don't know this brand. I didn't look up this brand. I just wanted it. The brand is Lorena Rose, size large, but look at this fabric. First of all, it's sheer, but it's not sheer like that dress. It This feels like a, a rayon, and that one feels like, you know, that chiffon. What am I thinking of? Help me! Um, really, help me. Descriptions for that one, please. Um, anyway, I believe this is, it's getting dark. Um, as it is wont to do, is like peacocks. Can you see that? Peacock feathers. And then it's, it's got a little, is it a V at the front? Yeah, a little bit of a V, but it's, is it, a, it's like a caftan top. You know, that kind that has, where it's just straight down and then just is seamed out on one side. So, and it gets its shape when you, but anyway, 
the bottom is, I think, rounded, and it has pom-poms or tassels, tassels on the bottom. I couldn't resist this. This is just, I thought this was just so cool. It's a large, so it's probably gonna be humongous on me, so keeping it isn't even an option, so it'll have to sell. And then, what's this? Again, I, I didn't look up comps. I, I just, sometimes I don't. Uh, this is, I don't know if it's the brand, FM Italy. And it's just a sporty men's t-shirt that says Italia on it. I thought it was kind of cool, and some Italian will be happy to have it. I mean, not for $50 or anything, but yeah, I could list it for $25 or $30 and see what happens. All right, last bag. This is a store I rarely go to because they're overpriced, so overpriced. Um, they don't have any special days, nothing. And they think that they shouldn't because they're a thrift store. They said that to me. This is a thrift store. Thrift stores don't do that. Like, don't tell me thrift stores don't do that. I know thrift stores do that. Anyway, uh, they were having a sale, 50% off regular clothes except top drawer, which they have some odd choices in top drawer. And some of their price is just ridiculous. But anyway. These are Edelweiss, 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 vintage ski pants. Now, when I say these are vintage ski pants, these are ski pants from my youth. This is what we skied in. Well, I mean, I had ski suits also, like the nylon kind, but I had these kind of ski pants. And I don't know why people stopped wearing them because if you have a nice shape, man, these look so good. I'm not saying they looked so good on me, I'm just saying, they can look really good. So they have like, they're like a, a boot cut. And then they have that, the stirrup on the bottom. I looked up Edelweiss uh, vintage ski pants and there was a plethora of ranges. The range was, there was a big range of prices. So I'm gonna put these on Shop Thrilling in addition to my normal places. Um, uh, a brand, this might be vintage also because I remember them having like a discount store when I lived in California and well, it's made in the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. So, uh, Carol Little, it is a 20W, but I bought it because, well, it's a denim vest and it's got embroidery, um, like applique and embroidery or actually yeah, I would say applique or embroidered applique. Um, but I'm a sucker for, for that sort of thing. And I thought it was unusual enough. And it was 50% off and the price of the vests were like not as unreasonable as some of their other stuff. And last but not least, I think. I think. Um, I don't know. The brand is Eagle. Like, I wonder if that's French for eagle or something. It looks like it. Size XL. Um, there were very few of these brand to be found on Poshmark, but they sold for a decent amount. Men's red jacket. Decided to buy it because I need inventory. My death pile is on life support. Um, so, you know, worst comes to worst. I, I can, you know, list it for 35 or so. I'm going to make money on it if it sells. So that's everything. Um, I thank you for, uh, for lasting this long, 24 minutes. Uh, as I said, I'm hoping to have a large haul probably at the end of the month and then maybe another large haul in December once my schedule's back to normal. Uh, my schedule's been horrible, so I haven't been able to, to, to shop the way I normally do. I haven't been able to list like I normally do. I haven't been able to do videos and nothing, but it, it'll be, all be over by the end of this month until six months from now when it will do that again. All right. Thank you for joining me. Um, I really appreciate that you do and say hi. If you have not subscribed and you like reseller content and haul videos, 
please hit the subscribe and the bell to be notified. Um, I mostly do haul videos. I will start doing what solds when I have some time. Um, and I am planning a video where I just give a, a, a small list of things that I have done in the last couple of months that I can tell that between them have improved my sales. I have definitely improved my sales. I'm improving what I make. And uh, I wanna share with you what things I think are behind all that. All right, thank you. Say hi in the comments section. Talk to you later.